That has to be planned. We can't just give you access with the drone because we have to risk assess that to put a drone in the air. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Roger Bullivant Limited in Swaddling Coat. Looks quite big, and there's a public footpath. Look, if you wanted to cross the road, there's no drop curbs. The first drop curb you come to is just here. So you can certainly walk across here all day long. They have got their own fleet, look. Roger Bullivan do foundations for all types of structures, their website says. Piling, foundations, ground improvement, restricted access restricted access piling involves the use of specially designed equipment to operate in limited headroom or limited access areas so a flatbed coming out and of course it's gonna have its number plate on the back <laughs> of course looks a very nice professional company the grounds i mean i just noticed over here they've just planted some extra trees and put some grass seed down on the soil so they do take pride in their appearance. Even all the hedges look on the front, all cut nicely, all trimmed. Looks like they're just moving a washing machine, what it looks like, from the gatehouse. So it says Roger Bullivant Limited is a foundation engineering company specializing in design and construction of foundations for all types of buildings and structures in all kinds of ground conditions foundation designs are individually engineered to satisfy project and customer needs and always with an eye on value engineering got a lovely rb logo over in the distance on the main building down there and this corner looks like to be some sort of construction what are they end caps for something even got their own fleet look with the rb logo on the side foundation engineers i'm just doing a little video about the company um are you are you in charge no not at all no what what position are you facilities. oh facilities so i'm going to take the drone over just to get some aerial you'd have to get permission before you i'm speaking to you now no not, not off me I'll come there then. I'll come up. I'll talk yeah, to. Who are you doing it for? For me. I'm just yeah. making a video of, of RB. Why? Just do you know if I find something interesting as I go around these industrial estates, I'll just make a little video about it and put it on my YouTube channel. But well, I don't want to be on there. Why did you come up then? To see what you're doing. You're photographing the area, so it's a security issue for us. Isn't this where the, the public cross the road? That bit there, through there, isn't it? No, do you know where I was standing? Yeah, yes, where you stand. Oh, okay, there, okay, right. yeah. yeah. So what it is, um, if your facilities, I've told you, all I've got to do is a responsible drone pilot. No. I've just got to tell someone. All you're right, right I'll go and tell someone else. Come on, let's go. There's nobody here. You'll have to make an appointment to see them. You can't go through there. Because unless you want to get, make an appointment to go to the reception. No, all I want to do is inform somebody that I'm going to try, uh, fly a drone over. That's all. Well, you'll have to go to reception. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. I'm not going. You can, you can escort me. <laughs> Where is it? Down this path here? Down this path. All right. All right, mate. So let's go and tell somebody that we're going to fly the drone over. Because they'll start saying, oh, somebody's got a drone. Somebody's got a drone. Everybody told us. But on the way to reception, you get to see all this stuff. Foundation related. The big concrete piles that get driven into the ground. Look at the forklift that they're using to move them around. Yeah, it's turning as well. unusual isn't it struggling up the hill looks like a, a moffet it's called a combi lift
So on this side we've got Saita, which looks like to be a separate company. But Roger Bullivant Reception will be in here. And look at that, a legal number plate. Not done many of them for a long time, have we? Roger Bolivant. Oh, door closed. Hello. Hi, I'm just letting you know, I'm just going to go outside um, where the, your entrance is and I'm just making a little video from outside for about 20 minutes and I'm just going to fly my drone over to get some aerial photography and then I'll be gone. What's it for? It's just for a video that I'm making about Roger Bullivant. Oh, who, who are you? Oh, you won't know me. I'm just a member of the public. But as I say, I'm only come on. I don't want to do it from your site. I will be doing it from the outside. Right, well, what's your name? Well, people call me DJ. Yeah, I'm just being polite and letting you know. If, if anyone reports that a drone's flying over, then it's only me. Okay. Right, thank you. Yeah, I like to make it clear that, you know, I'm not doing it on your site. Your rules do not apply to me. Oh, here we go. I just told, just told the lady. Are you doing all right? Yeah, I thought you said, what are you doing? No, 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 no. So, um, so what, what are you planning? Right, 20 minutes, uh, video about Roger Bullivant, about the foundations, about the amazing things you do. Okay. Just talking a little bit off the website. Okay. Because I visit industrial estates and whatever I find interesting, I just do a little video about it. I see. You make some money from YouTube, you see, by I doing see. this. It's a little hobby I've got and it makes money. So yeah, and it always ends with a little drone flight okay. across the site just to show the amazing things from above because Google Maps has been over, as you know. Are you filming now? I'm filming everything. Okay. Sometimes people come over and they put hands on. They, they do things they shouldn't. Okay. So I'm just protecting myself. No, 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 no that's fine. Um, right, so so that has to be planned. We can't just give you access with a drone because we have to risk assess that to put a drone in the air. And that's part of a drone license, isn't it? You can't put it in, in a public area. Is that is that your understanding? No, that's not my understanding. So you've got a license for drone yeah, use? Yeah, of course, yeah. And under that drone usage, but based on weight category, I believe, that defines where you can you can fly that and where you can't. Is that correct? That's correct. Do you want me to show you the relevant section of the CAA website just to put you put you at ease? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Um, it, you sound like you know a little bit about drones, do you? Um, I'm sorry. I'm a safety advisor for Walton Park here, so we, we have come across it before. Okay, I'm just getting it up uh, on my screen because do you know about 249 gram drones? Uh, I believe that's category A, isn't it? Uh, C0. C0. Okay, I understand. Cheers, John. Right. So when we talk about buildings, mm -hmm. so this is what this is the, the section that you was just mentioning. Keep okay. at least 150 meters away from commercial areas. But when okay. when you've got small drones below 250, you can fly small drones and model aircraft that are lighter than 250 in residential, recreational, commercial and industrial areas. That's where we are now. Okay. So we can do it. Okay, I understand that under these guidelines. However, what is your plan if that drone falls out of the sky and damages either our property or our people? Yeah, I'm, I've got commercial insurance. Okay, but we don't want that drone falling on people in the first place. Neither do I. So this is what I'm trying to say. If you plan that visit, we can perhaps cater for that on a risk assessment potential. We're not saying you can't do it, we just need that activity planned from the start. Do you get me? Well, there's no risk. Of course there's a risk of that dropping out of the air, isn't there? Let's just say, for example, um, driving a car. There's always a risk, isn't there? But okay. you're insured, very unlikely to happen. Okay. You just do it, you, yeah, just, you just drive your car. So this is the same thing, it's the same activity, sort of. It, from a commercial perspective, it's not quite the same thing. Um, you, you mentioned that driving in particular on, on the roads, yes, that's, that's your 
um, sort of obligation. However, this is a business, so commercially, we have to protect against risk, even driving a car. We have to have uh, transport policies, uh, license driver checks, insurances and, and things like that. So so when you come from a, a commercial point of view, things change a little bit. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? I do see what you mean. But do you know when you say, because you're outside, you're doing it outside, you're driving your car outside, I will be flying my drone from outside. I'm not going to be f- taking off from here. But do you know if I arrived on, on in a vehicle uh-huh. to visit your site, yeah. so I'm entering your site with my car, Yeah. Is that too risky because accidents could happen? Do you know what I mean? It's, it's no, like, where we, do you stop? No, because we, well, well it, it stops when we, we can eliminate as much risk to our employees as, as possible. So, so to answer your question, if you arrived on site, there's certain things that we'd put in place, i.e. walkways, um, you, you've got a system of, of, of traffic uh, navigation, that sort of thing. So are you suggesting then, before a drone goes over, you would sort of get everybody indoors? No, not at all. We would just uh, evaluate that risk. So let's, for, for instance, we've got, if we, on our construction sites, um, we've got a drone, um, a drone pilot who, who will sometimes go up and do marketing shots. Yeah. Before he is allowed to do that on a marketing shot, he has to risk assess yeah. the level that is ground. That's what I'm asking. That's for. a very good point. He does the risk assessment, not the site. So like, I do my dynamic risk assessment and I see there's, there's certain guidelines. So if there's a crowd of people that exactly. can't, that can't the, escape. Okay. So I've already done the dynamic risk so assessment. Where is and, it? No, it's dynamic. It's okay. in your head. It still has to be documented. No, it doesn't. It does. Unfortunately, the civil aviation guidelines that we all have to play by. Okay, how do we know that you've done that dynamic risk assessment well, satisfactorily? You, you don't because I'm a member of the public on a public highway doing a lawful activity. I know the business may have concerns, uh-huh. but you have no powers or any authority to stop it from happening. You, you can certainly raise your concerns with the pilot which is why I've come in. I could have easily just done it out there, but I'm being polite. I'm how, in... would you do, how would you do that? So you're not actually flying the drone over here? Yeah, then? of course, yeah. I'm going over. Cause... So where's your, we don't advise that you do that. No, this is what I'm saying. You might not like it, and you might not like, wish for it to happen, but it, it can happen by law. Do you know what I mean? So it may be totally against how you do things here, but the law allows it. Okay, what I'm asking for is a little bit amount of time for me to, to, te- to check that out. And that's what I'm asking for, pre-planning, not just rocking up and going, we're going to fly a, a drone over. That's what I'm asking for, a bit of time to check that out. Yeah, okay? I get what you're saying, but do you know because I arrive on these industrial estates unplanned okay. and I just cycle around, I've only I've got a bike well, maybe out there. you shouldn't just turn up unplanned, you maybe should give people a chance to, to, to work it through. But it, what, it's what makes the videos interesting, it's to see how people react to the unannounced visit of doing a lawful activity. Okay. It's photography and it's, it's just, we get a lot of drone pilots, a lot of drone flyers that are being approached while they're flying it. And they're like, well, why don't you tell us? Why don't you tell us? So what we're doing, we're going on these industrial estates to these interesting places. I do find them interesting, so I love seeing the footage. Uh-huh. I love putting it together. Okay. But it's also very interesting for people to see how people, businesses with authority on site, you control what goes on in here, and it's great. If you tell people, you must do this, must do that, because of health and safety is priority, brilliant. And I can see why you're trying to stop me from doing it. I'm not but, trying to stop you from doing no, it. No, you're advising just, me against it. I just need a little it. negotiation. I just need a little... Uh, for warning yeah. that's all and this sort of conversation is very interesting to people that watch it okay. and a lot of people as I say have been approached and, and confronted okay. by angry people no, no, we don't want no confrontation meetings. so yeah unfortunately um, I am, I've got limited time I want to do as many videos today as possible I am just going to return out on the public highway okay. it's a lawful activity I've showed you the rules the Civil Aviation Authority it's the drone code okay do you want to see it again or anything? No, no, no. I, 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 like I said, what, I, what I'd really appreciate is a little bit of time to, to do my own sort of investigations. But let, let's not go around in circles. So what is your plan now? I would like you to feel the weight of this drone, no, right? Because your, okay, uh, I, I, just want to, I just want to clear this one last thing up. You know one what? last it's thing. It's sort of irrelevant to me because an object's falling out of the sky, whether... You, you, I'm not talking about... Obviously, it's going to have a different severity, but an object falling out of the sky, I'm not too completely comfortable. A bird? A bird? The weight of a bird? Uh, again, right. What I'm trying to say is, what, what is your plan now, then? So I, I, Yeah, going to return. I've asked you for a little leniency so we can check it out. What is your plan? Well, okay, are you talking about less than 10 minutes? 
Uh, no, probably not. Unfortunately, then. I tried to work with you if it was less, because that's a reasonable amount of time, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I'm going to return back outside now, public uh-huh. public highway. I'm just going to read a little bit from the website. Okay. I'm going to take the drone over. It'll be in the sky for about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to move on to the next business. Okay, okay. All right. And your name was? Tim. Thank you, Tim. All right. Tim. Thank you. There we go. Tim took it well in the end. Took it well in the end, I'm going to say on that one. So let's get back out there to the public highway and get David up. So right then, we've checked on drone assist as shown on the screen just there. There are no flight restrictions in this area. So let's have a look at Roger Bullivant Limited from above. We've got a gentleman just crossing over. Just keep an eye on him for a moment. Has his camera out. Anyway, we've not got time to waste on him. As we look this way, he is slowing down now. Is he waiting for the bus? No, look, it's coming from behind. It's got his phone at the ready. Let's see what he's up to then, eh, shall we? He's filming away, look. Coming behind. So I don't know what that was all about. He came past me with his camera. So we went down there. We spoke to the guys on this footpath here, who are now watching the drone fly over. Sita, that big building there looks connected to the site got a way bridge in and out way bridge lots of trailers being loaded with the concrete foundation pilings got a circular type down here What might they be? Loads and loads of them, look. And what happens in this little building then? Got signs of dampness at the entrance so is this some sort of wash so there's loads and loads of the same foundation pilings isn't there down in the corner of the site we've got some plant machinery that actually do the drilling Drilling the holes, ready for the pilings to go into. The foundations. Loads of machinery down in this corner. And then in a right hidden area, down at the back. We got this lot. 
Don't ask me what it is, because I don't know. And this is where the concrete pilings are made. You can see that conveyor belt going underground there, look. Where the material is tipped into that grate and the aggregate is fed up the conveyor and into the concrete plant, which has got solar panels. So let's get David back, wrap this one up and move on. Sorry? Yeah, good, thanks. So we've contacted the police and the police are on, our, on the way, okay? Right, We'd okay. really appreciate it if you'd hang around. Okay. Okay. You know I don't need to hang around, don't you? Of course, I know that. What's your name, sorry? Why would you have wasted the police time after I've just showed you the rules? Um, well, we've made the decision to call the police. Yeah. And they're, they're willing to, to come out and, and speak to you, so. Do you know people viewing this video, so yeah. far, they would have had a good experience okay but the fact that you're now wasting police time okay well that's our it decision won't, i know but i'm trying to tell you that it's a, it's a bad decision to have well, made the, who made it you see, see. who made that decision uh, no that wasn't me uh, however um the police have answered and they do not see it as a waste of time they're willing to come out so um i appreciate your point of view but they don't see it as a waste of time um so they're on their way okay you see where it says there 249 gram uh -huh. drone and i was willing to show you that wasn't i it was yeah you see that number on the top yeah that's the operator id so that's like okay. a license okay and, and we went through all the the rules down there yeah and, and i said, thought and i asked for more time and you said you were going to do it anyway well, i said it's 10 minutes enough and, and you said no. you said no yes it wasn't so it's just a shame that's all i mean okay. yeah I'll, I'll wait around um, nice one, mate. It, do you know if they take longer than let's say 15 minutes okay then i'll go um well yeah that is up to you like you said i cannot i can in no way can i i say you've got to stay here that's up to you what do is your name though please well if the police are on the way maybe uh, that's a question for them okay sure. but no but do you know um, when people come from out from your company uh -huh. and start videoing me yeah obviously they're being employed at the moment and okay. G gdpr does apply to them so well gdpr applies to anybody with a commercial that that's all right that's what i wanted time to to look at which you wouldn't grant me would you what i was gonna say is people from your company okay. com coming out yeah they're working right so gdpr okay. gdpr applies to them right yeah so maybe we'll, we'll, well see. of course we'll see we'll see what the police okay. say do you know your cameras do you know your cctv yes do you know if they catch my image am i entitled to a copy of it um, my understanding is that we've got signs up all across site saying you are being monitored. Well done, my friend. Do you want a key ring? <laughs> Don't tell him. Thanks for watching, my friend. Thank you. Saying that, that basically, um, lost my thread now. Basically, that you are being, uh, um, you know, sort of watched. Do you want me to tell you? Because. You're a data handler, data controller. I'm the, da I'm the data subject. That always applies. So member of the public is a data subject. So GDPR means that I can request a copy okay. of any footage you take of me. All right. And it's, it's just these public rights. Okay. Because I'm a member of the public doing a lawful activity outside, we're just trying to promote the rights that we have. Okay, look, look, look I mean, so, you, you put your point over No, right? I'm not finished because the person that took a photo of me, okay. I officially am going to request a copy of it. That's up to you. Yeah, so what was his name? Because I, I need these details. Well, when, when the police arrive, you won't give me your details, will you? So what I think is okay. best is when the police arrive, okay. we get them to, to sort of mediate and we'll, and we'll go through yeah. that process. Data protection laws are much more serious. Okay. It used to be called GDPR, but then we left the EU. Much more serious aware, yeah. than flying a lawful, doing a lawful activity. Okay. So maybe we can use the, the police to my advantage. So. Um, Whatever, I don't mind. Yeah. Uh, if you if you just if you agree that I I can have a copy of it, and you find out who he is, give me a method of communication no, where no, I can I'm request not doing that. that. Like I said, the police are on the way. Right. I, I asked for a little bit of leeway so that we could discuss it and and, and yeah. research the well, legality. If you wouldn't allow that, I'm not then going to go and give you the information without some yeah. official support. Be am I? Because I didn't work with you on that, why did you send somebody out to take footage of me? I didn't send anybody out what? to take footage of you. D did he decide to do that off his I own back? I don't know. I'm not speaking for him. 
Right, okay. okay. So, so you're yeah, it's, re- it started off good, but these things that I'm now highlighting to you okay. are making it negative. So who's the people ma- who's making it negative? Well, the fact that you've called the police, that's making it I negative. I have called the police. The police are on the way. Roger Bullivant have called the police. Okay. Roger Bullivant employee came out and started filming me, okay. a member of the public, I'm not in doing a lawful activity. Doing that. But it's happened. Okay. And this could have. I just wanted. I was just about to pack my drone up, do the outro, and I was gone. Okay. So now you can see how this is turning negative, um, and the I, viewers are going to watch this. Good for the viewers. However, it, it, it's. It, negative from your point of view we just want to make sure that what what you've said is is right i don't think that's unreasonable that's I, all. i've offered you the the screen that the drone code that shows you what i'm saying okay. is okay. I'm is the law expert. however the police will be able to 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 tell me what what them laws are that's all i'm asking hang about for a bit i i already showed you the law on okay. the phone listen listen the, the police are coming okay that's all i'm asking you hang about a bit okay that's all <laughs> It's no issue. But, but you, you're quite right. If you want to go, then you, you're well within your eyes to go. Because you've asked me to wait for the police, yeah. gives me a bit more time to, to video, oh, I guess. So enjoy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if it's on double enjoy yellows. Yourself, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, thank All you, right. my friend. So, while we wait for the police, let's have a look to see if their vehicles are parked on double yellows. <laughs> look, he's laughing. So, there's no double yellows, but how are pedestrians supposed to get past? with wheelchairs, push chairs, anybody really. They're forced onto the grass, aren't they? Which isn't ideal. Not ideal at all. So, David Bratt blocking the public footpath. Oh, I don't know, it just gets worse with this Roger Bullivant company. But at least they're picking up litter. You know, that's responsible. We've got to highlight the good and the bad. And here we have some close-ups of the pilings. And they actually do say pilings on them. They've got a little steel rod coming out the end. Roger Bullivan pilings. There we have it. Up close and personal to the product. Shall I wait out here or come in there? Shall I wait out here or come in there? Well, I thought if I come in, then you see what, what's going to happen, right? When the police arrive, they're going to be two men and they're going to want to hear your side and yes, they're going to want to. And the, we've got phones, they can contact us and I'll come straight out. And what it is, they, they want to come straight to you okay. and straight to me. See, one person will come to you, one person will come okay. to me. But if we're both together, then it makes their job easier. Cause I've, I've sort of got work to do. Chris is sort of monitoring the situation. So the guy in there, one of the guys in there is monitoring the situation. I will be in there, and as soon as they arrive, my colleague will let me know if they arrive. But now Chris, yeah. <laughs> um, do you know... Don't put that in, please, Paul. Just... You, you said it. Do you know why we walk back? Yeah. Can I just highlight a few um, illegal number plates to you? Um, because the, these are the things now the police are coming I might as well tell them what I found okay if you want to inform the police that's fine that's yeah. personally you just do, do what you've got to do with the police and but, we'll take care of that do you know when Roger Bullivan employ people that have got illegal number plates okay. it's not a good representation of the company okay. as soon as they leave your site and go yeah. onto the public highway they're committing a criminal offence okay. a road I, traffic act I understand that and, and like you've said what, you, what you're going to talk to the police and we'll get that we'll gain that information but, off the police and deal with it in, in, no the police can't tell you because GDPR applies what they'll, they'll contact the owner of the vehicle but what I'm saying to you okay, that's fine. what I'm saying to you if I show them to you you can possibly just say to them look we can't have this going on okay. if people with cameras turn up it puts us in a bad light let's do that then yeah. Okay, you, 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 we don't really want you on the site anymore, to be fair. Oh, you don't. I just said, let's do that then. Okay, I thought you was going to point them out where they were. Um, okay. Well, what I did, right, okay. When I walked across the edge, yeah. as you turn right ac- across the back row, yeah. maybe where we're standing now on that back row, I see. about there, yeah. This is how the number plate should be um, formatted. Okay. That font and that spacing. I see. You'll see it. Okay. Um, if I do walk around a bit more. What was it? Just a smaller font size, was oh, it? No, there's no space in the middle. I see. And, and the font size is like m- much thinner. Okay. 
Okay. It's, it's called a show plate. Okay. So yeah, if you just nice one. Take well, that. Thanks for that. We'll take that. We'll take that on bike. We'll find out who it is, and then we'll we'll deal with that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As they're leaving site, it's just giving the best image for your company okay. as possible. Perfect. We appreciate. Which that. Which is what I wanted. But okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. No number plate on the trailer. Going in to Roger Bullivant Limited. Hi. All right. I am filming though. Can you stop? That's what I'm here to do. Have you not spoke to your colleagues? Sorry, no, so I'm from Martin, so obviously right. they were health and safety, so I've not really, okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so what I do, I've got a YouTube channel and I just visit industrial what's estates. What's your YouTube for? Sorry, I just want to have a look. Because of what's happened so far, I'm not going to give any of my details out because of what's happened previous with your colleagues. Sorry, what's happened? Yeah. I don't really know what's happened. When Somebody will tell you about the video and then at that point you'll see what the channel is called. Do you get me? So when, when I first arrive, I'm just like a law-abiding citizen, a member of the public, just on the outside, making a video about anything I can find interesting on industrial estates. But what is it that you what's interesting, what well, are you looking for? I've never really come across a piling expert company like yourselves. Right. And I can just see a little bit of what you've got in the, in the yard. So I take the drone over. Right, you weren't allowed to take the drone over. No, I've already done it. Yeah, you, you can't do it, sir. I've already done it. So, so and when I went down into reception, before I took the drone over, I go to reception and I just tell them what so I'm doing. Him, did you speak to the receptionist in those days? Yeah, there? yeah. Was yeah. that Tim? Don't the know. one with the short hair, glasses? I don't know his name. But Chris knows, Chris knows his name. And then um, I showed Tim the law, just so he doesn't worry. And the Civil Aviation Authority control the, the airspace. And there's this thing called the Drone and Model Aircraft Code. Right. And there's certain things you can and cannot do. And when we get down to commercial buildings, yeah. you have to keep 150 metres away unless you've got a small drone, which is below 250 grams, which right. is what mine is. And with the 249 gram drone, you can fly... It says you can fly small drones and model aircraft that are lighter than 250 in residential, okay, recreational, right, commercial. I understand that. I'm so, just wondering what it is exactly you're looking for. Well, no, that wasn't what you was wondering because she says you can't do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, see, I didn't think that... You, well, obviously, when we use drones, obviously, we have a drone. Yours are heavier. So, no, they're not. Um, but How I, do you know? Because I'm in marketing. I help with uh, stuff like what's that. What's the weight of your drone? It's, I think it's the one that our person uses is 250 grams, I think. There you it's go. The tiny ones. So, but we need permission from our clients about a courtesy when you go on a site to say we're yeah. going to be using that for social media. My courtesy was just to come into reception to say, I'm outside, I'm flying a drone over, there's nothing to worry about, it is lawful, and I show them the law so they ain't got to worry about it, you ain't got to waste police I'm just, time. Yeah, but like, I'm, now I'm asking you, what is it that you want in? What is it you're looking for? I want good footage okay. for, for my YouTube channel. So, you know what you could have done? I have done this uh, a few times before. I've asked in advance really interesting places rather than travel all the way to Wales. I've asked them. I said, no, unfortunately, it's not possible. And it kept on happening. So I thought, right, I'm not going to ask for permission because I don't even need it. It's just polite. It's like it says curtsy, isn't it? So you're not being polite then, are you? I tried to be. I said, look, here's the law. You don't need to call the police. There's nothing being done wrong. This is who I am. Right, okay. Well, I'm from Arctic anyway, so anything that you would put on, I would appreciate it. First. The, the Whether first you time, do that or not is another thing. The first time you see it is when somebody says, your company's on YouTube. Here's the link. My that, company's already on YouTube, uh, so we don't need any extra information. No, no, no. Um, but it's not like you need that's it. perfect. Like I said, if you want to run it past us, my name's Megan. Roger Hyper Bullivan. I don't want that, obviously, on YouTube. I'll cut anything personal. Thank you. Um, and I would, if you can run the video past me, I'd prefer it. If not, whatever. Before you go, Megan, what is the the thing that you're most proud of that Roger, Roger Bullivant do? Well, we install files across the whole country, so we have a range of different clients 
what's the most iconic structure construction project that you've been involved in? Um, I've not been here for very long, so right. I can't really quote on that, but all the case studies are on the website, so the ones that we have... There's only three. Pardon? There's only three case studies on the no, website. Look, I've just been on um, your website right now. Case, I'm actually on case studies. One, yeah. two, three. No oh, more. For what re- I think it's because you're viewing it on mobile. If you go on the you know laptop, okay. there's probably 20, 30 case studies on there. Um, Brecon Beacons, that's something to be proud of. Yeah, so my intention, nice. Megan, was to come here. I find these, these sites interesting for certain reasons. I tell my viewers those reasons why I find it interesting. I highlight good things and bad things that I see happening. One of your vehicles was blocking the, the public footpath. Wasn't good. One of your vehicles, while I've been out here, has arrived with no number plate on the back. That wasn't good. One of the staff cars in the car park have got an illegal number plate. That's not good. But there's a lot of good... Is it a personal vehicle? Yeah, but they're, they're uh, employed by Roger Bullivan. The car's parked on Roger Bullivan car park and they will enter the public highway at the end of the shift. It just doesn't look good. Things like that. Blocking the highway. What about push chairs and, and disabled people? Sorry. I, I know it's not your thing. I know it's not, not your thing, Megan. Normally, when I do start talking about the bad things, people do walk away. No offence, but we'll leave it there. Megan from Marketing. Now, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, Megan. Thank you. I said I want my name and my email address removed from that video. Thank you, Megan. Thanks for your time. She was nice. Come on, where's this police car? Are the police coming, Megan, do you know? Not sure whether the police will come in. But yeah, so when you start telling the marketing department bad things you know they marketing it's all about positives this is what we do but it says come on what construction project what have you been involved in that you're most proud of i'm not sure why they've put an extra fence a meter in front of the existing fence it's like they've grabbed a meter of land for some reason i can't think of any logical reason why they would have done that other than to make uh, make it look a bit nicer. So I've been waiting half an hour for the police now. And I don't think they're going to turn up. Why would they? It's a 249 gram drone flying over commercial premises, which you're allowed to do. There's no flight restriction zone here. I showed the guy the drone code. We had a conversation about it. I reassured him. I showed courtesy and politeness by informing them of what I was going to do rather than just doing it. But that hasn't proven to be successful, has it? We left on good terms. We got, did the video. We flew the drone. We were just about to leave. Then he called the police. Wasted all of our money. Wasted the police time. Even the operator's time. Taking the call. Wasted. We had the guy that came out taking the photos of me. They didn't uh, volunteer a copy of it easily, like they should through GDPR, data protection. We saw the vehicle blocking the public highway. We saw the vehicle arrive with no number plate. Megan came out from marketing, but once we mentioned <laughs> the negatives, she scarpered. So that's it, video complete. If you have enjoyed that video here from Roger Bullivant, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one guys. Bye bye for now.